Hey there, martial arts fans. Welcome back to Sadistic Penguin Studios. When we think of ninjas, iconic characters like Scorpion and Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat come to mind. Maybe the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 1990s, or even if you're being a little quirky, the three ninjas from the movies in the 90s. But 2009's Ninja Assassin is on a whole different level. Directed by James Teague and starring South Korean pop star Rain, the film brings a brutal, blood-soaked take on the ninja genre that stands out from anything we've seen before. Ninja Assassin isn't your typical ninja flick. Unlike the campy charm of maybe American Ninja, which is brutally bad, or the nostalgic fun of Revenge of the Ninja, this movie plunges us into the world of intense graphic violence and high-octane action. The plot centers around Raizo, a deadly assassin trained since childhood by the ruthless Ozunu clan. After witnessing the murder of his friend, Raizo breaks free and vows to bring down the clan that made him a killer. From the opening scene where a face is split by a shuriken, Ninja Assassin sets a tone of relentless brutality and man is it fucking bloody. The film doesn't hold back on the gore. Bodies are dismembered, sliced in half, and impaled in a dizzying array of death sequences. Despite the heavy use of CGI for blood effects, the action remains visually stunning and engaging. The fight choreography is free from the traditional wild work, and it showcases Rain's impressive physical transformation and dedication to his role. Thanks to his extensive training under the team that included John Wick's director, Chad Stalsinski. Now, Rain wasn't traditionally trained in martial arts, and he spent six months under the director's training and choreography to learn, and he does a great job in the film. What sets Ninja Assassin apart is the artistry in its action sequences. The choreography is meticulously crafted, with fight scenes that are both intricate and visually captivating. One standout moment features Raizo wielding a chain whip adorned with a Sith blade in a basement battle, blending graceful movements with deadly precision. The use of slow motion and dynamic camera work elevates the intensity, turning each fight into a breathtaking spectacle. It really reminds me of a John Woo film, and I wonder if the director was inspired by Woo and his slow motion effects. The film's climax is a testament to its commitment to the over-the-top action. A tactical unit armed with rocket launchers storms a ninja temple in the Japanese mountains. Yes, you heard that right. Ninjas versus fucking rocket launchers. It's a wild adrenaline pumping conclusion that perfectly encapsulates the film's blend of absurdity and acceleration. If you're a fan of martial arts jams and enjoy a good dose of cinematic gore, Ninja Assassin is a must watch for you. Don't forget to hit a like and subscribe and that bell icon to check back in for more deep dives into your martial arts favorites. Thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.